In this video, I will explain what IOTA is and explain some terminology. A link to this presentation can be found in the description below. IOTA is not an acronym for Internet of Things, but it just means something very small. David Sunstebo, Sergei Ivanjeglo, Dominic Schiener, and Sergei Popov founded IOTA in 2015. In November and December 2015, IOTA hosted an initial coin offering. In December 22, 2015, they raised 1,337 bitcoins, then valued approximately a half million dollars for project development. All tokens were sold to the ICO investors. The IOTA team has set up the IOTA Foundation, a non-profit foundation registered and headquartered in Berlin, Germany, focused on developing and standardizing new distributed ledger-based technologies. IOTA main focus is Internet of Things and the machine economy, but this technology is well suited for payments between humans as well. The main net was online since July 11, 2016. The IOTA white paper can be found at this location. All IOTAs which will ever exist have already been created. There will be no mining involved. The total IOTA supply is approximately 2.8 peta IOTAs. In contrast, in October 8, 2140, there will be a maximum of approximately 21 million bitcoins mined. In November 11, 2017, there are already 16 million bitcoins mined, approximately 79% of its total. The maximum number of available bitcoins converted into its smallest unit is approximately 2.1 peta satoshis which means there will be approximately 32% more IOTAs compared to Bitcoins in October 8, 2140. IOTA has the following features. Scalability, decentralization, no transaction fees, and quantum computing protection. The network becomes stronger when the number of transactions increases. A stress test conducted in April 2017 already shows 112 confirmed transactions per second in a small network of 250 nodes. IOTA can achieve high transaction throughput. If more IOTA transactions are created, the confirmation rates are getting better. IOTA has no miners. Every transaction maker is also a transaction validator, which means every transaction maker actively participates in the consensus. If you look at the Bitcoin network, most hashing power are concentrated in a few mining pools. IOTA has no transaction fees, which means IOTA can be used for micropayments. You can send one IOTA to an address with no fees charged. An IOTA is the smallest unit, which is the same as one Satoshi for Bitcoin or one way for Ethereum. Making micropayments in the Bitcoin network makes no sense if the fees are higher than the transaction value. Quantum computing is still in the early stages of development, but it is estimated that this technology will arrive between 2030 and 2050. Quantum computers will be able to crack current data encryption methods much faster than current classical computers. IOTA uses the Winternet's one-time signature scheme which is a quantum-resistant algorithm. In a blockchain network, for example Bitcoin, multiple transactions are stored in blocks and the blocks are sequentially connected to each other, chained. If you look at this picture, each block contains multiple transactions and the blocks are chained to each other. IOTA is a third-generation public permissionless distributed ledger based on a directed acyclic graph. IOTA called this DAG the Tangle. The Tangle is not the same as the blockchain. A Tangle is a data structure based on directed acyclic graph. Each square represents a single transaction. Each transaction always validates two previous non-validated transactions. Each square represents a single transaction. This transaction validates this transaction which is not validated and also this transaction, which is also not validated. If you look at this transaction, it validates this transaction and also this transaction. If you look at this transaction, 
it validates this transaction and this transaction. Directed means the graph is pointing to one direction. If you look at this picture, the tangle is growing this direction. Acyclic means the graph is non-circular. So this will not happen. To see the tangle grow in real time, visit these two locations. I am at the iota.dance slash live website. I will speed up the animation. Tips are the unconfirmed transactions in the Tangle graph. They are transactions which have no other transactions references them, but they should each reference two previous transactions. This green block is a tip, and this green block is a tip. Height is the length of the longest oriented path to the genesis. For example, G has a height of 1, from G to the genesis is one step. D has a height of 3, from D to the genesis, and we take the longest path is 1, 2, 3. Depth is the length of the longest reverse-oriented path to some tip. For example, G has a depth of 4 to tip A. So from G to tip A takes 4 steps. 1, 2, 3, 4. You take the longest path. Making a transaction is a three-step process. The first step is signing. Your node, which can be a computer or mobile, creates a transaction and sign it with your private key. The second step is tip selection. Your node chooses two other unconfirmed transactions, which are tips, using the random walk Monte Carlo algorithm. The last step is proof of work. Your node checks if the two transactions are not conflicting. Next, the node must do some proof of work by solving a cryptographic puzzle called a hash cache. Hash cache works by repeatedly hashing the same data with a tiny variation until a hash is found with a certain number of leading zero bits. This proof of work is to prevent spam and civil attacks. A civil attack is based on the assumption that half of all hash power is coming from malicious nodes. The goal of the random walk Monte Carlo algorithm is to generate fair samples from some difficult distribution. The random walk Monte Carlo algorithm is used in two ways. To choose two other unconfirmed transactions, which are tips, when creating a transaction, and to determine if a transaction is confirmed. In the following slides, I will explain how transaction confirmation is achieved. The green blocks are transactions on which consensus was achieved, aka confirmed transactions. The red blocks are transactions where we are still uncertain on their full acceptance. The gray blocks are unconfirmed transactions, the tips. These are the green blocks, the red blocks, and the gray blocks. And the gray blocks are the tips. The goal of any transaction is to be green. But how do you go from gray to red to green? Green blocks are indirectly referenced by all the gray blocks. If you look at this green block, it is referenced by this gray block. If you follow this path and it reaches this green block, if you take this one, for example, here, 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 and here, if you take this gray block, here, 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 
and here. For every confirmed transaction, there is a path leading to it from a tip. To determine the confirmation level of your transaction, we need the depth to start from and we execute the random walk Monte Carlo algorithm n times. The probability of your transaction being accepted is therefore m of n, m being the number of times you land on a tip that has a path to your transaction. If you execute the random walk Monte Carlo algorithm 100 times and 60 tip has a path to your transaction, then your transaction is 60% confirmed. It is up to the merchant to decide to accept the transaction and exchange goods. It is the same as bitcoins, where you want to wait for at least 6 blocks for high value transactions. Transactions with bigger depth takes longer to be validated. An IOTA reference implementation, wallet and libraries are available at this location. The IOTA reference implementation is written in Java. As of November 2017, this implementation is not production ready. The IOTA libraries are available in different programming languages such as JavaScript, Python and Go. To set up a full node, you need to tether with neighbors by exchanging your IP address with theirs. It is recommended only to share your IP address with only the neighbors you are tethering with, and no one else. Previously, peer discovery was included in the IOTA reference implementation, but peer discovery was causing more problems. Peer discovery is now removed, and manual node sharing is used instead to optimize IOTA and to make it more suitable for the IoT. Once you have sent a transaction from an address, you should never use this address again. Each time you send a transaction from an address, a part of the private key is revealed. IOTA uses the Winternist one-time signature. This makes it easier for attackers to steal that address's balance via brute force. You can receive as many transactions you want to an address, but once you make a transaction from this address, you should not reuse this address again for receiving or sending transactions. The seed is not compromised if you receive funds at an address that has already been spent from, but the funds at that address is. A tangle can get branched off and back into the network. Here a tangle is branched off and it can be attached to the main tangle again. This is called partitioning. For example, sensors on containers on the freighter ship loses connectivity with the main tangle when the ship travels across the ocean. The sensors can create an offline tangle cluster. The coordinator, or KU for short, are several full nodes scattered across the world run by the IOTA Foundation. It creates zero-value transactions called milestones, which full nodes references to. Its main purpose is to temporarily protect the network in its infancy stage to sustain against a large-scale attack from those who own GPUs. The coordinator sets the general direction for the tangle growth and do some kind of checkpointing. The network is considered decentralized because every node verifies that the coordinator is not breaking consensus rules by creating IOTAs out of thin air or approving double spendings. When the amount of organic activity on the IOTA ledger is sufficient to where it can evolve unassisted, the coordinator is permanently shut off. A snapshot is a method which keeps the ledger database that the devices has to keep very small in size. Snapshotting groups several transfers to the same address into one record, saves only non-zero balances and removes transaction history. The addresses with balances acts like new genesis addresses, but no previous history or data will be attached. Currently, making snapshots are done manually, but in the future it will be done automatically. There will be permanodes which stores the entire Tangle history and data permanently and securely. IOTA created their own hash function called curl based on SHA-3 Ketchup. Researchers from the Boston University and Massachusetts Institute of Technology reported on a vulnerability in curl in July 14, 2017. More information can be found at this location. The curl produced collisions when different inputs hash to the same output. 
On August 7, 2017, the IOTA team implemented a patch by replacing curl with the catchup384 hash function. This hash function is used for generating addresses and signing transactions. The catchup384 hash function is wrapped and named curl as a tongue-in-cheek homage to what it was replacing. See this location. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.